Let's look at the uh, FK Spectrum design window. Uh, this is accessed through the uh, analysis toolbar and the seismic display window. So we're in the analysis, seismic analysis window, and we've got a record up. What it's going to do is uh, take in this data set, whatever I've got displayed on the screen, whether it's an ensemble or a set of traces, that's going to go into the FK spectrum to allow me to create a design FK filter on that. So I'm going to hit the green plus on that record. This is a bit different from the uh, previous Vista on how this is handled. What we've got is our original input data set. And again, what's explained in other videos, we have the ability to if we hit the A, the filter. Uh, hotkeys are always available in Vista. So we've got our input data set on the left. We've got our FK spectrum. Top toolbars allow us to read definitions. These are the options for the FK. Allows us to apply smoothers to the filter and uh, define our trace spacing and our rejection and pass scalar. We can see we've got an AGC being applied to the data. We can see FK filter, we haven't defined any. This is the, the spectrum once we've defined it. That would be the result and that's the difference. So let's let's go in here and we'll zoom in a bit and there's also some other formative uh, tools that are now in here. We can see this is where we define all our rejection zones. So if we wanted to do something like, we can see there's a bit of 60 cycle in here. So we could come in here. I can look at that's the filter I've defined. You can see that's what it's doing to the spectrum. There's the result of it. See how that's removed. And there's the actual difference of that, applying that. I'll go back and I can delete that from there. Uh, one of the things we can do is define or see what velocities are. So we can go into the FK velocity. We can choose on the FK spectrum and see what velocities are. You can see as I'm moving on here. I'll actually zoom in a bit. Uh, the other thing, so I'm just going to remove those, is we can actually click on the data set and we can see what those velocities are on. What it does is it draws the uh, velocity and the alias velocity as we can see as it comes up. So there's our f first breaks coming in, that energy alias. So I'll remove that. We can also define what we call a FK velocity so we can pick a start an end and restrict velocities. We can see that pie shape. I'll remove that and remove that. Uh, so again we can define any types of uh, pie slice uh, FK that we want. We can see that resulting filter spectrum. We can see that result and we can see the difference on there. So that's a quick uh, go through of the FK filter design and analysis window.